Abernathy here. Welcome to another episode of Code and 5. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the number of conductors that you can put in an auxiliary gutter. Now, we're talking about Article 366 of the National Electrical Code, and we're talking about Section 22, and it's titled Number of Conductors. Now, there's an A and there's a B. A deals with sheet metal auxiliary gutters, and B deals with non-metallic auxiliary gutters, right? So auxiliary gutters are a gutter that's in addition to a, say, another enclosure that adds additional space, additional bending space, uh, additional routing space, but it is, again, auxiliary to the other enclosure, right? It's not the same as a wireway, which we will cover in another Code in 5. So when we're talking specifically about auxiliary gutters, the code says that the sum of the cross-sectional area of all contained conductors and cables at any cross section of a metal or a non-metallic auxiliary gutter shall not exceed 20% of the interior cross sectional area of that sheet metal or that non-metallic auxiliary gutter. Now the good news is, again, sheet metals is A, non-metallic is B, they both have identical rules. So you don't have to get all wonky in the head when it comes to uh, what percentage I'm not to exceed. I'm not to exceed 20%. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, so let's kind of figure this out. If I can't exceed 20% uh, at any point in the interior cross-sectional area, uh, and I'm following 366.22 A and B, both are the same, so good to go, then let's take a 6x6 auxiliary gutter. Now, 6x6 auxiliary gutter, we're going to do 6 times 6, that's 36 square inches. And we can't fill more than 20% of that. And remember, we're doing this very similar to how we would do a, a raceway fill calculation, okay? It's just in a raceway fill, we know that we've got things like you can't exceed 40% and all that. Well, and if it's a nipple, you can't exceed 60%. Well, here we've got a specific value. We can't exceed 20% of the cross, any of the cross-sectional areas, okay? Interior, okay. So 36 times 20 is going to give us 7.2 square inches. And this is the space we're going to use that we can exceed. So this is our space. We can fill it up to 7.2 square inches. All right, now, let's say we're going to use uh, three aught conductors and we want to know how many can we put across any interior cross-sectional area of this auxiliary gutter. What's the value we can exceed? Now, I want you to picture this. Kind of think of this gutter as like a rectangular birthday cake. And I'm going to run conductors back and forth through it. If I take a knife and I cut me a slice, because everybody knows I like the food analogies, right? Yeah, y'all know I like food. So if I were to cut me a slice and then I pull it out and I look at it, and now I have to start counting the number of conductors that are running and I have to start doing some math just like I did if it was a raceway. You, you with me? Okay, I, I'm trying to give you the mental picture of the two so you can kind of have the understanding. Now, if it's three aught, so how many can I put in there? Well, if you go to chapter nine, table five for a three aught THWN-2 conductor, you'll notice that it is 0.2679 square inches. That's the value we're gonna use. And your question is, how many of those can I put in there? Well, it's simple. Since the 20% is 7.2 square inches, then we take the 7.2 and divide it by 0.2679. That's going to end up being 26 conductors. So at any cross-sectional area within that auxiliary gutter, I can have more than 26 3-aught THWN-2 conductors, right? Pretty simple and straightforward. So if you've ever wondered how to do the cross-sectional area, treating it like a raceway, and you're confused about auxiliary gutters and not exceeding the 20%, now you know. Think of that birthday cake analogy or the log, a rectangular cake, cut you a slice, pull it back, and now it's kind of like looking at the end of a raceway, and now you do the same raceway fill calculations that you would before. It's all the same thing. Till next time, folks, stay safe, God bless, and hope you learned something this episode. Can we do code in five? Who wants to do code in five?